Hi, I'm Kate Hayes. I lead advocacy communications at Bear, and with me is my son Kellen, who's 12 years old and has been working at home with me for months now, uh, and helping me with our Science at Home with Bear STEM education series. So today we're going to talk more about sustainability because our topic this week is the ecosystem in your backyard. So learning about ecosystems and biodiversity, and someone who knows a lot about that is Mark Snyders, who's joining us from our forward farm near Brussels, Belgium, the Hoftenbosch Farm. Hi, Mark, how are you? Hi, Kate. Hi, Kellen. I'm fine, thank you. And you? We're good, and we're excited to talk to you today. Um, I was actually on Twitter like a week ago and saw a really cool post that Mark did showing us some baby owls on the farm, and that was like so exciting, and I thought, let's talk to him for Science at Home and learn more about the owls and the biodiversity work that you guys do there. So, Kellen, I know you have some questions. Yep. Why don't you get started? What is a forward farm, and what do you do on one? What we do at this farm is to um, demonstrate how sustainability works in practice. And we do this together with the farmers here at this farm, uh, which is run by two brothers, uh, Jos and Jan, uh, who have this commercial farm. We are working to check how with our products, our seeds uh, and our digital tools, we can help them to produce in a better, in a sustainable way, more in balance with nature, with the environment. And at such a forward farm, when we are testing these kind of new technologies, we are also working together with universities, with research centers, in order to measure what we do. Uh, so it's not just trying something out, we are also really looking at results. Once we have these results, we are spreading this information amongst other farmers. So we invite farmers here and they come, as you wish, uh, like to the School uh, of Sustainability. They come to this farm to see what they can do at their farm to work in a more sustainable way. That's really cool. So it's like a giant school for farmers? Yeah, you could see it like that. Uh, I never expressed it like that, but that's, that's maybe a good summary, yeah? And then the last element that we are working on it's again this communication so we invite a lot of people here at the farm this can be consumers this can be people from from news magazines from television um, from from politics people that are concerned about farming that are working on farming but don't know always how this is working in practice so we invite them here and we show them around on the farm together with the farmers to show how things work in practice this is our bee motel with the whole recuperation material and near the bee motel we have a lot of flowers. This is a young kestrel which was born in a nest in the orchard just alongside the farm. He really isn't afraid of people. Can you give us a definition for biodiversity and why it's so important to protect it? If you uh, look to the word biodiversity, um, it's existing of two other words. You have the biological part and you have the diversity part. The um, biological part is in fact um, referring to everything which is living um, uh, on a farm, in nature, in the environment. So it can be plants, it can be animals, it can be insects, it can be bacteria, it can be fungi, it can be everything what has um, a living capacity. Um, the diversity, it stands for all the differences that there are. Uh, and now what's really great about biodiversity, if you have all these, these living species which come together, they form an ecosystem. And each part has its own place in this ecosystem. And which is very important is that we try to find a balance between all the species. If we have all these species in a balanced way present, then you can talk really about a thriving biodiversity. Yeah. What can I do to protect the ecosystem in my backyard? Oh, there's a lot of things that you can uh, do. Um, one of the ideas, and you can find a lot of stuff on the internet to do it yourself, uh, like for example, building nest places for birds. And this your mother will love, I'm sure it's uh, sowing some flowers. You can even buy these ready packages, uh, which are really suited for the bees. Uh, so it's really bee attractive plants. And you can find a corner of a few square yards in your garden, work the soil in, in spring, just sow the seeds and leave it like that. And then you will get all kinds of flowers during the whole summer. So it's really nice and bees love it. 
So thank you, Mark, and thank you everyone who's been watching at home. We'll share the link to the, the virtual farm tour. I think it's really cool. And we really appreciate you guys doing these activities with us. We hope you like it and let us know what you think. Everyone Thanks. stay safe. Bye.